this about manager file transfer uh, by the end of the session you will be able to understand how to build an integrated and advanced manager file transfer solution with webmother's active transfer the agenda of this session is uh, we are going to talk about traditional ftp challenges and how how to overcome them using manager file transfer at a high level and after that we are going to see how the typical active transfer architecture look like and then we will discuss about the, some of the capabilities of a mother's active transfer then we are going to see how to install active transfer how to design a solution using active transfer and how to implement it for our file transfer needs then I will go through a success story of one of our client where we set up active passive MFT setup then we will discuss about enterprise file sync and share and use case of uh, MFT traditional FTP challenges we have been using FTP for last 40 years for all our file transfer needs uh, it can be useful for less traffic file transfers and files with small sizes some of the pitfalls of uh, traditional FTP uh, there is a maintenance cost associated with the FTP and we need to take the backup of the files every day and we often see timeout errors by using uh, FTP and our mailboxes will be flood flooded with a lot of error emails and some of the large files can be corrected using FTP and we also need to worry about the duplicate files that will be transferred now and then and most of the FTP software doesn't support the encryption or the security standards so in a typical FTP implementation if for example we got a power outage once the system got restored we will be flooded with lot of error emails then some of these following questions will come up to our mind like what happens if a session times out and FTP crashes how to guarantee the file delivery how to filter unwanted files or duplicate files how to analyze patterns to see if similar cases occur so with all these questions in our mind we think that when it comes to enterprise file transfer we want everything to be organized secure smooth and fast so manage file transfer will be the solution for all the pitfalls of FTP transfer what is MFT MFT is a software used to provide secure internal external file transfer solutions it offers business automation along with reporting it will simplify management of file transfers and ensure regulatory compliance while supporting all security standards as you can see it will support for open standards the data will be secured and we can guarantee the delivery of the important files it easily integrate with the existing tools integration of data apart from transferring the files itself we can actually process the content of the file and we can easily integrate the MFT with an ERP system or an IT infrastructure all file transfers will have some scheduled and event triggered actions all the files transferred via the MFT will be fully audited and reported and you can easily integrate this with our existing applications without any difficulty so if you use a manager file transfer it should answer the questions that we have raised in an FTP implementation so I will go through some of those questions what happens if a session times out and FTP crashes we can set up a failover in MFT architecture that will prevent this from happening how to guarantee the delivery of business files we can set up 
checkpoint restarts up to and we can continue the execution at the point of interruption and how to filter unwanted files or duplicate files we can set up filters on the file name patterns and create error events that will let us know when a duplicate file comes to the system and one more question is how to analyze patterns to see if similar cases occur in a typical MFT solution we have an analytics or a reporting tool set up by using it we can analyze the file transfers and we can see some of the patterns and the performance of, the, of our managed file transfer architecture so there are different vendors providing the managed file transfer solution web methods itself uh, came with their own active transfer solution and its architecture look like this it will have a web client or an FTP client that will uh, post the files to the active transfer it will contain a gateway server that will be in the DMZ zone that will be handling the files uh, corresponding to the managed file transfer and then we have a AD internal server which will contain MFT package the MFT package is a web methods package which, which will be used to interact between IS and AT server MWS and active transfer interaction uh, user SAML authentication and web service calls to connect the IS and the internal server and it will also have some built-in services that will aid in administration of MFT and to customize all our file transfers then within this active transfer server we will have some folders set up as virtual folders that will be viewed by the source side users using the web client as a gateway system so they will be looking at the gateway server and will be posting the files they in turn will be transferred to the internal server that is inside the firewall once the file reaches the MFT server there will be some events set up in the internal server that will kick off the process to transfer the file to the target system along with this tra file transfer we can also set up some events that will integrate and transfer this data to the to the existing application suite components uh, these are some of the active transfer capabilities secure file transfers reliability and guarantee delivery control and managed file transfers scheduled and post processing events auditing and reporting we will be sending valuable and confidential business data over the managed file transfer setup so we need to make sure to prevent data leakage from intruders uh, or hackers as you can see some of the features of security features of managed file transfer as the gateway server is within the DMZ zone it will itself provide some security to the internal server so that unauthorized users can't be able to access the our AT server active transfer supports secure protocols such as HTTPS, FTPS, SFTP etc we can have the encryption using active transfer we can have the a template and a send the template to the user communicating to the active transfer server in the in the template we can specify the PGP key and the RSA DSA keys and the encryption chippers as you can see in the screen last but not least we can have role based access to the files the users who are dropping the files 
can have some privileges that will be set up using MWS once it is integrated with the active transfer setup. Reliability and guaranteed delivery. We can set up a failover in an active transfer setup so that it can handle the outages or any unavailability of the gateway servers. We can have a group of gateway servers that will be connected to a load balancer and will be sharing a session using session replication. Session replication enables you to configure replication in active transfer client session that was in progress on one node across all active transfer nodes. That means if a session is going on on one, one gateway server and it goes down, then the session will be picked up by the next gateway server and the file transfer will be processed automatically. This will be helpful while we are dealing with multiple files uh, in a particular session from a particular user. And for all outbound transfers, we can set up the retry mechanism if the FTP server or a remote path in a virtual folder is not available, it will retype for a particular number of times. And we can also set up a resume transfer from point of interruption, interruption so that the files will get transferred on the, once the port is refreshed in the active transfer server. In this way, we can achieve the guaranteed delivery of all our business files. This will give a proof of delivery to add SLAs and avoid penalties. We can also set up real-time notifications for users of file transfer issues and successful delivery of files. Control and manage the file transfers. In this active transfer, we can control the transfer speeds and we can restrict some of the IP addresses to stop them to sending any unwanted data to our system. And we can assign users with some privileges to prevent the access. And accelerating large file transfers using tunnels. The active transfer will split the data into chunks and streams the data into server over multiple channels and assemble them at the active transfer side by using by creating different tunnels. And not only this, the active transfer will also use a concept called tunnel multiplier. It will multiply the tunnels by which it will it will be sending the streaming of streams of data based on the network latency and bandwidth. So we can we can say that all our large file transfers will be delivered in time without any delay. Schedule and post-processing event-driven transfers. So there should be a process by which these file transfers kick off at the active transfer server. So every scheduled and post-processing event will have a criteria action and an error action and the users assigned for that particular event so that the action will kick off. Here are some of the actions uh, that will be performed using those events. The events may be kicked off with the file operations such as move, copy, rename, etc. We can execute uh, some native scripts or an antivirus scripts or some JCL jobs etc. Uh, using these event actions. You can integrate uh, the MFT with the trading networks plugged in by using which all the trading networks partners uh, will be assigned with a virtual folder and all the transfers happening via trading network can be tracked using the MFT. We can publish a notification to kick off a VPM. And we can invoke WebMethods integration server services to uh, perform any content handling in the files 
or any operations like uh, uh, sending it to a SAP system or a database. Auditing and reporting. As we have discussed earlier, every MFT will have a reporting tool that will be associated to control and manage inbound and outbound file transfers on a central console. We can, by looking at it, we can quickly locate and resolve file transfer issues as they occur. I can use some dashboards to monitor and report uh, usage of tracking and uh, cross-charging. Uh, you can set up uh, MassZone as a reporting tool for, for this MFT. Uh, I will tell you how to configure uh, MassZone uh, for this reporting. We need to have MassZone server installed and we are going to import a dashboard that will be given by software AG in WMFT package to the MassZone server and create a connection to the MFT database that will be configured in the active transfer JDBC pools and once the MassGen server start talking with the database then uh, we can have analytics page set up in MWS that will show the following graphs uh, which will show us the file transfer volume trends, file transfer volume summary, all the file transfers that occurred and what are all the largest files uh, transfers that happened recently. In this way we can easily figure out whether our file reaches the target system or we can easily analyze the performance of our MFT setup over the time and to increase the performance or we can configure uh, something uh, like a to increase the speed of the file transfers etc. Coming to installation of uh, Active Transfer, we need to have a Active Transfer Gateway Server, Active Transfer Internal Server, MWS to configure the ports and to see the analytics and reporting graphs, etc. And a master server that will hold the dashboards uh, for reporting. And that we need to execute some uh, database scripts for MFT and have a JDBC pool set up in the active transfer server. We need to create ports for the gateway server that will be exposed to the clients uh, to drop the files using those ports. And we can uh, we have to create users and assign privileges. Uh, this can be done by using uh, MWS user management. Once we have set up the active transfer, we need to design and implement a solution using it. For that, we are going to identify all FTP, SFTP transfers in our environment and we need to design a architecture and inbound and outbound flow and we need to locate how many virtual folders we need, what are the remote paths that these virtual folders are going to be mapped and the event management we need to separate scheduled events and post processing events uh, so that and configure actions so that our files actions will be kicked off and our file will be transferred to the target system and we are also going to identify what are all the security standards that we are going to follow in this MFT implementation and the level of reporting we need in this setup. Once all these things are figured out, it will be pretty easy for us to set up a uh, MFT solution. Coming to the success story, we have implemented an active passive setup with one of our clients and the architecture look like this. Uh, we have a active gateway server and a passive gateway server inside the DMZ zone and we had an internal active transfer servers, uh, which one is active and passive. We had a database that contains these MFT tables 
that will contain the data corresponding to all the file transfers. We have set up a Mashion as a reporting tool that will be integrated with the MWS as discussed earlier that will generate us some of the reports and the backend file server systems are the target systems located on a AX box for which the file transfers uh, will will go to and fro from the source system. The problem point here is the backend file server systems are SAP systems which are hosted on AX boxes. So we can't directly map these remote uh, paths in the internal server because of security issues. So what we have done is we have created some virtual folders in the AT internal servers and exposed them to the external partners via gateway servers. Once the file reaches the active transfer, we have set up an internal port in the active transfer in MWS and the file transfer will then be kicked off from the internal server via the internal SFTP port to the backend file server. You can see uh, the summary of the inbound flow here. Partners will connect to internet host URL and SFTP port via internet using any file transfer client and with the username and password provided by them by the IT admin. Partners would be able to see the folders with the file transfer client with names defined as virtual folders in AT and do file transfers. When the partner places the file, the request reaches the AT gateway server and waits there until AT internal server reaches it and fetches via reverse connection. The request would then transfer to the backend file server via the virtual folder setup. Similarly, you can have a look at the outbound flow. Whenever a user or automated service needs to transfer a file to partner systems, either inside or outside client, you will connect to AT server via SFTP port and we place the file in the virtual folder already configured on AT. In this way, we have successfully implemented an active passive MFT setup at one of our client places. Uh, coming to a use case of uh, web methods active transfer, we can use it uh, to create a enterprise file sync and share. By using it, we can synchronize files across devices, across sites, across team work workspaces, define read write privileges and time limited access, create role based privileges for allowing users to create share for project folders. So this enterprise file sync and share will be something like a Dropbox that will be used for all our enterprise file transfer needs. We can have separate uh, folders that will be viewed as a virtual folders corresponding to some of the ongoing projects or ongoing interfaces or, or we can create virtual folders for all the partners in the trading network system and we can use it for uh, some file transfers and file syncing and sharing. For example, we can have some mapping specifications for, our, uh, for different interfaces in different folders. When a, when a client or a user makes some changes in the mapping specification, we can set up some alert emails for all the stakeholders stating them that in a particular interface, your mapping specification has changed, so you need to take some action. Based on that, he will go and make the changes in the code and push it to the next environment. So it will be very useful in tracking all the files internally uh, within the enterprise and uh, make our uh, file transfers uh, to be visualized. Prosot proven approach to MFT implementation. We have certain approach uh, that is successful uh, in all our MFT implementations. During the upgrade, we will do uh, some gap up analysis by studying the architecture that was in place and we will see how to modernize it 
and in this case we will identify the need of uh, MFT for all the file transfers and the volume of files they are transferring in a day to day basis. Once we identify the need we will depict the client the use cases or the demos that were there in our lab systems to show the functionalities of the webmethods active transfer. Once they realize that MFT is going to bring some value to their business, we will set up an MFT architecture using the SAG best practices and based on our experience of uh, setting up active transfer. Once everything in place, we will use some ProSoft utility tools that will leverage some value to that uh, setup. For example, if we are using Mastodon for analytics, we have some customized dashboards along with the dashboard provided by the software AG that will be useful in viewing or in analyzing some of the custom patterns specific to our business needs. In this way, we will uh, set up uh, the MFT solution. ProSoft advantage. ProSoft is helping clients in accelerating their middleware infrastructure administration and support services by using ESP reference architecture and SY governance services approach is proven and refined by multiple successful past implementations. Implementation of software AG active transfer has made enterprise file transfer ever so secure and reliable. And it helped us to convert a messy and jumbled file transfer architecture into a neat and easily manageable MFT platform. I hope uh, this session gave you some interesting inputs about uh, WebMethods active transfer and you will be able to set up a MFT solution uh, pretty easily. Uh, now I will open the session for question and answers. I will ask James to take over. Yep, uh, uh, thanks uh, Srinivas. I would welcome uh, our uh, uh, host uh, Ankit Malhotra uh, to uh, uh, run through the questions. Whoever has any questions, they can place them in the questions tab. We'd be very glad to uh, answer them. Ankit. Yeah. Uh, thank you, James. Uh, thanks, Srinivas, for this wonderful presentation. You know, it was very informative. Uh, uh, during, during the session, you know, we received uh, quite a number of uh, interesting questions on MFT capabilities and architecture. So I'll uh, read out those questions uh, to you. So the very first question, you know, uh, the participant wants uh, is mentioning that he has already implemented web method services. Uh, which performs operations like get put using different uh, protocols uh, like FTP or SAP. He wanted to know can he can he plug in uh, web method services to M MFT solution for auditing and monitoring? Yeah, this can be done by setting the ports uh, you are using for uh, FTP or SFTP uh, in the active transfer and uh, map them to the remote path uh, to the virtual folders corresponding to the target systems uh, that we are go we are already using uh, in an FTP setup. Uh, by doing this, uh, your file transfer will be logged into MFT database. After that, uh, we can use the data for reporting and we can see uh, there are any, any issues with the existing file transfer. Okay. Um, second question, uh, the participant has asked, uh, that if a file uh, transfer job failed because of network issue, can we resubmit a failed job uh, using MFT? Yeah, as shown earlier, we can have uh, some retry setup for a specified number of times and uh, configure a resume from point of interruption for all file copy and move. Once the port is restarted or refreshed, the transactions will get uh, completed from the point it failed. Uh, manually, we can't resubmit a failed job uh, from MFT, but we can uh, make this uh, guaranteed by setting up all these uh, retry and uh, 
point of failure uh, configurations. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, coming to uh, the encryption part of it, you know, the participant wanted to know what all encryption algorithm MFT solution support. Yeah. MFT uh, supports all the security standards uh, and it will support encryption like PGP and uh, SSL. Uh, we can configure uh, chipper shoots like uh, AES and uh, 3DS in the user templates and uh, for that particular user transferring the files, it will use that algorithm uh, to encrypt and decrypt dec the file. Okay, um, next question is, uh, you know, uh, wanted to know the limitation uh, on file size. So is there any limitations on, uh, you know, uh, the max size file size uh, with the product? And can we define, uh, if it is not there, can we define that limitation in the product itself? Yes, definitely. Uh, we can uh, restrict the file sizes uh, in this uh, method factory transfer product. Uh, as discussed earlier, uh, we can create template uh, for the users. In the template, we have some uh, throttle settings like file size, maximum upload speed, uh, download speed. Uh, we can also restrict uh, the volume of files transferred in a particular day or a month, etc. Okay. Um, so you now I have a couple of more questions, uh, Shrinivas. So in the next question, uh, you know. Um, the participant has mentioned that if uh, if the whole system is down due to network issue and several jobs queued up, when system come back, will MFT gives preference to already queued jobs or upcoming jobs to be run? Uh, for these kind of outages uh, in active transfer, uh, we are going to uh, set up the failover uh, uh, with multiple gateway servers. Uh, and the active transfer internal servers. But once the whole system uh, came up, all the scheduled events that were there uh, will be kicked off automatically. And uh, this will not apply to the pre-processing pre events that were set up. Once uh, if uh, the whole system is down, we are doing any uh, pre-processed events and uh, it, they will be gone. So to make sure if it's a, if it is really a guaranteed uh, business file, uh, it, it's the best practice to have it in a scheduled event. Okay. Uh, another very interesting question on MFT architecture. Uh, we wanted to know that uh, how can we set up MFT architecture for multi-site high availability and failover support? Yeah, we can have uh, active transfers in a group to transfer servers in a group, uh, wherever they reside, they must be pointing to the same gateway server and sharing the same database. Uh, then we can host uh, all the file transfer uh, with high availability and uh, supporting high availability and failover. Okay. Uh, thank you, Srinivas. Uh, th these are all the questions which I uh, have. Uh, no, uh, thanks uh, for answering them. I hope uh, these were uh, uh, quite informative, and uh, probably we uh, we should have uh, answered uh, pretty much uh, what is required. Uh, I'll hand it over to uh, James. Uh, James, you can take it. Thanks, Ankit. Uh, thanks, Srinivas. Uh, so thank you uh, very much, all the participants. Uh, we are hosting the uh, webinar on Alphabet. Uh, next week, I'll be sharing the details uh, shortly uh, to you. Uh, uh, I look forward to see you on our next webinar. And uh, as you all aware, this is a part of our Innovation World uh, 2015 uh, 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 initiative. We are hosting these uh, webinars and from you to the web methods and other outrage technology users. And we'd love to uh, uh, have you uh, at the Innovation World event, being the Platinum sponsors. Thank you so much. I look forward to see you on our uh, next webinar and consequently I'm in uh, Innovation World to 2015 too. Thank you and have a, a rest of the day uh, uh, and meet you on the next webinar. Bye-bye.